Welcome and greetings. We're live in the live room here at KXP 90.3, listener powered. We're from, streaming from Seattle, Washington, 24-7, all around the world. Just wanted to let you guys know we have a wonderful in-studio session here with Kiefer, and I'm just going to get right into it and let Kiefer take it all away here. Cool. Thanks, Noel. Yeah, uh, yeah let's, let's get rolling. Uh, this tune's called Tube Socks. This is a record from my first album. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead, Effa. Tube 
That was absolutely lovely, Kiefer. Thank yeah. you so much. I'm a big fan of that particular tune. I love how you transferred that tune on uh, that album, Super Bloom, Be Encouraged and Encourage Others. I really love the inspiring, uplifting nature of your your performances and your music. And I find a lot of your music get, getting into my ear, earworms on the bus and, you know, <laughs> on the train and just wherever I am. I feel like those Thanks, melodies are always jumping into my brain somehow. I'll let you introduce the members of your group. I just wanted to let you know we're live on KXP. 90.3? Yeah. Kiefer? Well, uh, to my left, well, they're both to my left, I guess, but nearest to me, this is Cam Thistle on bass, uh, just an amazing musician that uh, uh, we just started playing together about a week ago, so uh, he's been amazing. And then on drums, who I've known for many years, this is Effa J. Moy on drums. And uh, both of these gentlemen have their own solo projects that are really great, so I'm honored that they've uh, you know taken time out to be a part of this band for a, a little while, so pretty yeah. dope. It's nice to hear them in this configuration with uh, your setup here. And uh, can you tell me a little bit about your ins your inspirational process uh, and your the last album, uh, opposed to some of these other ones that you had? I feel like a lot of them are connected in some way. It yeah. always feels like that. But um, can you tell me about the new one? It's okay, be you a little bit. Yeah, I I guess my uh, the messaging in my music is pretty consistent throughout. Just like certain principles and things I uh, believe about being a musician and. Um, I think on this last record, though, I uh, was, you know, I, I was making all this music. I make a beat every day, and usually when I make an album, I go through the last year of music and just th listen to what's happening thematically. And I noticed that I was going back to some beat-making styles that I love to do the most, stuff that I've been doing uh, for a while, but haven't released because, uh, you know, for fear that people might not like it or they might think it's weird or maybe uh, maybe certain uh, types of beats don't go together on a record. I had all these excuses uh, to change the music, uh, but I was challenging myself to um, just make the music that I love uh, because that's just an amazing opportunity that not everyone gets. And I've had uh, the privilege to be able to do that for a living. And so... Um, I had all of the songs recorded and uh, they cover a wide range of emotions. I allowed myself to make some angsty, angry music, which uh, is, again, something I love to do sometimes, uh, uh, but hadn't really released anything like that. There's also stuff on the record that's, yeah, super wistful and longing and melancholy. I love doing that stuff as well. And so as I finished the record, there's this big range, this big emotional range of music that I wanted to stifle well, part, part of me wanted to stifle, and I chose not to. And there was a track called It's Okay, Be You, uh, which uh, my the mixing engineer, Daddy Kev, uh, shout out Daddy Kev, he said that, uh, that that was his favorite song. And I was like, you know what, that, that should be the name of the record, because nice. that's kind of the whole thing, I think, is Beautiful. I'm just al allowing myself to be myself in the biggest way possible artistically. Yeah, and I feel like that comes across in a lot of your music and a lot of the stuff that I've listened to. And, you know, Stone's Throw is kind of a perfect home for you, it seems like, also, with that style of beat making and yeah, the an way you play piano. That, an honor to be on that roster of, of artists, for sure. Excellent. Have you uh, done any collaborations with anyone else on Stone's Throw thus far? Um, not, well, I mean, uh, Mind Design and, and DJ Harrison are, are two gentlemen that I've worked with um, and two of my favorite artists. Um, knowledge I've been in the studio with, but we haven't released nice. anything together. Um, and then a few other artists as well, Sam I Am, I've, I've made music with before. Um, yeah. So. Nice. That's, that's really wonderful to hear. Uh, also hear that you studied with, uh, under Kenny Burrell for a moment. He's one of my jazz heroes. I really saw that in your profile and I was <laughs> like, wow, that's pretty amazing. It makes sense for some of your playing as well. So. Mm. Yeah. Kenny, uh, was running the program at UCLA when I attended, um, and I was in, I was very fortunate to be in two of his combos for three years. So for I was seeing him twice a week for three years. Um, and uh, he was a wonderful, wonderful teacher. I think he also has a lot to do with um, my artistic ethos. Um, that was something he was very much about, um, you know, um, ha having self-belief, following your dreams. These are things he used to talk about all the time. He didn't talk about notes and chords very often. Is more so about like just follow your dreams. I've been like very, I've had like a very wholesome musical upbringing, which a lot of people don't get. Um, yeah. You know, learning music can be very, um, can be very difficult. I mean, it is very difficult, and it can be very, um, what's the word? Yeah, it can be 
discouraging at times. It can be, yeah, it's hard. So I, I've been very lucky to have very, very, very positive teachers throughout my whole life. Like every single one has been great. I haven't had a bad teacher and that's a rare thing. Yeah, it sounds like it's much like, like life in, in general. You know, you go through so many different adversities and you see so many different things in your life that you, you know, you, you can't help but to put that in, into music, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Ken, Kenny was great. Shout out Kenny Burrell, um, one of the greatest musicians of all time. Yeah. yeah. He's on so many sessions too and just, oh. just an amazing musician. One of the most recorded guitarists ever probably, yeah. Oh, yeah, thank you, Kiefer, for being here with us. I'll keep it short, and I uh, just wanted to let you know we're uh, live on KXP. Uh, I've been your host, Snowbrass Jr., and uh, it's been a pleasure being here with you, and it's been really great to have Kiefer in here in the, in the live studio. And uh, Make sure you like and sub subscribe to the KXP.com, KXP.org, excuse me. And uh, we appreciate you being here, Kiefer. Thank you. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Noel. Yeah. Discover new music at listener-powered kexp.org.